We know you've been paying attention, but just in case, here's everything you need to know about plastic bags and the green bag campaign. Alexander Parks introduced plastic to the world at the 1862 Great International Exhibition in London. Through the early 20th century, plastics evolved rapidly as their use expanded. Bakelite became the first totally synthetic material created by humans and found its way into millions of homes and was followed by cellophane, nylon, PVC, Teflon, and a thousand variations even becoming a key component of the casing for the first atomic weapons. It all adds up to one thing, the atomic bomb. Since then, the use of plastic has exploded around the world, becoming part of our lives and an inescapable feature of the modern landscape. One especially ubiquitous and increasingly harmful result of this revolution is the plastic bag. Today, we produce nearly 2 million plastic bags every second, 112 million bags every minute, 2.6 billion bags every day, 83 billion bags every month, and about a trillion bags every single year. You can really get carried away with plastic bags. And from the factories, they move to a thousand different businesses and then into the environment. Plastic bags clog our gutters, catch in trees, litter parks and lawns, collect on riverbanks, and fly from landfills and dumpsters into streams and waterways. There are 46,000 pieces of plastic floating in every square mile of ocean. And off the coast of California, a mass of plastic twice the size of Texas rotates in the northern Pacific gyre. The effects aren't just an eyesore. We're poisoning ourselves and laying waste to animals around the world. More than a million birds and 100,000 marine mammals and sea turtles die every year from eating plastic or getting entangled in it. And plastic doesn't biodegrade. It just breaks into smaller pieces which are consumed by us and other animals. Unless it was incinerated, every piece of plastic you have ever used is still around. It's just smaller. That's why we want to slash pollution by cutting the use of plastic bags in our city. In 2008, the Seattle City Council passed an ordinance creating a 20 cent fee on all disposable shopping bags at grocery, drug, and convenience stores. The purpose of the green fee was to discourage the use of disposable paper and plastic bags and encourage the use of reusable bags. This fee, modeled after a similar law in Ireland, is expected to reduce bag use by 90%. But the lobbyists at Dow Chemical, Big Oil, and the American Chemistry Council are not going to give up their plastic bag cash cow just to save the environment. The chemical lobby has already pumped $200,000 into their campaign to roll back the bag fee. Money! And we expect their slick, well-funded effort to fight us every step of the way. But with your help, we can beat back their out-of-state attack on our values and our environment. Seattle's decision on Referendum 1 will resonate beyond our city. We can either lead the way, approve Referendum 1, and dramatically reduce the number of bags we use, or we can sit back and risk letting special interests buy this election. And if they can buy an election here, Big Oil and the chemical lobby will think they can buy an election anywhere. We know times are tough and you were asked to dig deep in 2008, but the election is on August 18th, less than four months away, and the Seattle Green Bag campaign needs your help now. We simply cannot keep fighting without you. Make a contribution today, big or small, everything helps. If you can't make a contribution, sign up to volunteer at greenbagcampaign.org. No matter what though, don't forget to vote to approve Referendum 1 on August 18th.